Visual artist Jackie McInnes' solo exhibition titled Filthy Rich, Dirt Poor is currently showing at the Witz Art Museum in Bramfontein in Johannesburg. This project interrogates the deeply inequitable status of contemporary South Africa and Johannesburg's informal recyclers play a leading role. The exhibition forms part of the artist's submission towards a creative PhD at the Wirtz School of Arts. Well, Jackie joins us now this morning via Zoom to tell us more about this body of work that will be installed until the end of this month. Jackie, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Good morning. In your own words, Jackie, tell us what Filthy Rich Dirt Poor is all about. Uh, well, you have already actually got to the, you've already got to the essence of the exhibition. I mean, it is essentially about um, inequality in the, in the country. Um, as I'm sure you know, we have one of the highest Gini coefficients in the world, um, which is um, not what we expected 27 years after democracy. Um, and it's particularly extreme in, in a city of the size and scale of Johannesburg. Uh, where you have uh, extreme wealth, especially out in the in the north in Santon, for example, um, versus people who are obliged to collect recyclable rubbish just in order to um, you know in order to make enough money to to live, um, and that's really where the the basis of this exhibition comes from. Um, and what I chose to do was to use the the environment of Johannesburg, which is, you know, Johannesburg is obviously developed on the back of the gold mining industry um, and to use the, the landscape of Johannesburg. So the actual mine dumped landscape and to use it as both <clears throat> as both my subject and also my material. So a lot of my work is actually quite literally made from the, the basis of the work is actually made from the mine dump dirt mm. um, and built up in layers and um, built up to depict the, the damaged landscape. And I use that damaged landscape to talk to the, the damage of the damage done to the people of our country. Um, so that would be a basic overview. If you have specific questions, I'm very, you know, I'd love, I'd love to hear you what you what your questions would be. Sure, sure. And uh, what was the significance, uh, perhaps, uh, behind the title? And uh, what came first, Jackie? Was it the, the, the title itself or the artworks? Um, definitely the artworks. <clears throat> the title was something that occurred to me um, at some point along in the project. I mean, you know, it, it's such a well-known saying, and yet it's so, it's so apt. I mean, it, you know, it goes straight to the concept of inequality. And on top of it, the artworks are actually made from dirt. Um, so there was this, not this notion of, of, you know, the artworks are made from dirt, the recyclers collect garbage. So obviously my work is, is very, very closely related to our detritus, um, you know, the, the detritus of, of human beings in the 21st century, um, which, you know, basically we're drowning in our own, we're drowning in our own waste. Um, so, yeah, it was an extremely apt uh, title for the show in the end, you know, it plays with plays with inequality, it plays with um, with dirt, and it plays with um, our waste products. Mm -hmm. And your research for this project, Jackie, centers on value judgments. Speak to us more about that. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch the question. My research centers on? Oh, on value judgments, isn't it? Oh, value judgments. Yes. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Um, okay. Yes, um, there again, um, value judgments as they pertain to human beings, you know, so okay. there's, a, there's an inclination to put the value of, uh, you know, let's, let's say a wealthy person to put their value much higher than the value of an informal recycler, for example. Um, and yet we completely ignore the fact that the contribution that the informal recycler makes to society is as big, if not bigger than the contribution of a much more wealthy person. I mean, mm. Although they, although they do their work in order to survive themselves, um, in doing their work, they add value to society, which is disproportionate to, you know, to, to what one would expect. Um, so, yes, um, essentially value judgments in relation to the human beings who play out in, in my um, body of work. Who, who are implied in, in my body of work, um, but then also uh, the value that, that is ascribed to artworks. It's very much about um, 
you know, why, especially quite recently, why this absolute obsession with art auctions, you know, that that art must be all about what it's what it costs. You know, it's, mm. it's kind of, in my opinion, slightly lost its way. I mean, you know, you used to have this concept where you'd have artworks that were made a long time ago and they would acquire value by virtue of being, you know, being in the world for quite a long time. And, you know, often those artists would have been, you know, they would have died many years ago yeah. before these artworks would come to auction. And now you have a situation where the artwork is being made in the studio and it's going straight to the auction, to the auction market. Um, so, you know, I'm also talking about um, value of artworks and, and what's happened in contemporary society in that regard. Um, and then also just to add to the, you know, add to the mix, um, a lot of the artworks, like I said, a lot of them are made using mind dump dirt. Um, and then another very important material in this body of work is um, shredded South African banknotes, which I got permission to to get from the South African Reserve Bank. Okay. So, you know, so it is it is our currency, but it's been shredded, so it's actually it's actually garbage. Um, and also looking at you know a value the value of our currency um, and what happens when those banknotes get shredded. Now, Jackie, take us through the process of creating this body of work. I mean, where do you have to go creatively and how far do you have to go creatively to come up with the final product that you are satisfied with? Um, right. Well, that's actually quite a difficult question to answer because, um, you know, I, I think and I'm, I think I can speak for, for most artists in this regard is that we don't um, we never have a clear trajectory when we start. Yes. We um, we have an idea. We have probably four or five different things that we think we want to be dealing with, but they, they tend to be slightly vague. Um, and then we just do something. And often, certainly in my opinion, um, the meaning of an artwork is something that, that comes about only through process. You know, so you start, you might have a vague idea of what you'd like to do, but it's not going to be much more than a vague idea. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you, you, you know, you're going to put something together. It's going to sit in your studio for quite some time. You're going to do a constant series of, of edits, edits to, this, to this work. You're going to constantly rework it. Um, and then it's only, it's actually really only at the end when you, when you put the artworks all together in, an, in a gallery space that you actually, as the artist, have a sense of what your own work Right. Potentially right. means, yeah. Right. Yeah. That, and, that's definitely my experience. Sure. And I've mentioned that the exhibition forms part of your submission towards your creative PhD. Tell us more about this, Jackie. And uh, what is that one message that you would love to see earmarked in the hearts and the minds of those who consume your work? Um, all right. So, um, well, I mean, doing a creative PhD for me, I'm it was just something again there again i mean i don't have any particular need to do it it's not something i need for my work um so i did okay. it purely for the for the challenge the intellectual challenge um uh, and i've absolutely loved it from that point of view it's, okay. it's been a, a very rewarding process um it's really pushed me further it's really forced me to you know to to do the research to think deeply to to understand my own work and and at the same time to understand other artists and you know what it is to be an artist and what it is that we're that we're trying to achieve um and yeah and sorry just repeat the second half of your question all right i just wanted to know you know what is that one message that you would love to see earmarked on on the hearts and the minds of those who will be consuming your work? All right, well, I actually think in a way that's quite an easy question to answer mm. um, because the informal recyclers of Johannesburg have fascinated, fascinated me since 2009 when I first noticed them. I had a studio in downtown Johannesburg. Um, and I think the thing that I'd like people to take away is to recognize them, to recognize them as fellow contributing citizens of our country mm, um, mm. they work incredibly hard um, they they caught something like 
100 kilograms worth of recyclables over long distances, mm, mm. up hills. Um, their lives are very, very hard. And I, I just, you know, really, for me, I, I, I find them quite inspiring. And I would like, I would, if there was one thing that would come away from this exhibition, it would be that uh, people of Johannesburg would see them in a new light and recognize them for, for what they do, for the work that they do. All right. And, you know, especially the environmental contribution as well. Indeed, indeed. I quite like how you push the envelope creatively, Jackie. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, joining us via Zoom to talk about her current exhibition titled Filthy Rich Dirt Poor that is currently taking place at the Wirtz Art Museum in Johannesburg was visual artist Jackie McInnes.